Welcome to Ocean Machinery's drill grinding tutorial, created specifically for the Ocean Penetrator high-speed cobalt drill bits with through the tool lubricant technology. The Penetrator's unique chip breaker design eliminates the long stringy chips created when drilling with regular drill bits. This brief video will assist you in achieving regular and consistent drill sharpening with your Ocean Rejuvenator drill grinder. Even if you have a drill grinder other than the Ocean Rejuvenator, or use another brand of drill bit, this video should still help you better understand the drill sharpening process. The performance difference between a sharp drill bit and a dull drill bit is night and day. Well sharpened drill bits will really make your Ocean products perform at their best. Note that drill sharpening is more of an art than a science, and every operator has his own unique approach and style when sharpening drill bits. The drill sharpening technique that we will use in this video will provide a simple geometry that is best suited for structural steel drilling. This geometry has two simple features, a 170 degree drill point angle and a raised center point. The raised center point is to stop the drill from walking if it hits scale or other dirt on the beam. These features are critical to fast productive CNC drilling. Note that most stock drill bits are supplied off the shelf with either 118 degrees or 135 degree drill point geometry, which is designed for general purpose drilling. With these types of drill points, you will still drill adequate holes, but you'll be sacrificing significant drilling performance, jeopardizing tool life, and you'll also have to grind the remaining burr from the exit side of the hole. You also run the risk of breaking drill bits when the drill spindle surges forward as the narrow point breaks through the steel. So we strongly suggest that you adopt the structural steel drill point geometry as shown in this video and sharpen your drill bits accordingly. The Ocean Rejuvenator Drill Grinder has numerous adjustments that allow it to sharpen many types of cutting tools, but we are only going to focus on a few that provide the structural steel drill point geometry, maximizing your drilling performance on steel profiles. Ocean Rejuvenator grinders have a steel grinding wheel with a diamond coated surface. The right hand edge of the wheel has a 6mm radius which is used to create the raised center point on your drill bit. Let's take a look at the major controls that we will be using. You have a top mounted vertical feed which moves the grinding wheel up and down. You have a side traverse feed that moves the grinding wheel left and right. And a front mounted in feed that moves the grinding wheel in and out. Note that you're always moving the wheel relative to the drill and the tool mount remains stationary. Make sure that you have the number 14S cam installed as this cam provides the raised tip drill point geometry that you'll be using and will also be using it for all of your drill bit sharp. Unlock the horizontal rotation lever and rotate the drill post so that the reference mark is sitting at 170 degrees to the left of the 180 degree mark. Lock the lever when it is correctly positioned. You'll be using 170 degrees for all your structural steel drill bits, so this setting is unlikely to change. Rotate and set the clearance relief setting to a position somewhere between 0 and 12. This provides the relief angle on the cutting face of your drill bit, and will change depending on the diameter of drill used. For a 13 16 inch drill bit, position number 6 works well. Please refer to the drill sharpening table you received with your Ocean Rejuvenator drill grinder. Rotate the chuck and place the index latch into the recess to the left of the right hand stamp, RH. Insert the drill bit to be sharpened in the appropriate Morse taper adapter and place it into the back of the chuck. Open the chuck jaws just enough to allow the drill to pass through. Slide the drill point settings blade over and push the drill bit forward and rotate it so that the cutting edge of the drill bit is resting on the recessed ledge of the blade at the number 22 position. Tighten the chuck firmly, then slide the setting blade back out of the way and lock it. Using the vertical feed, move the drill grinding wheel to 16 below zero on the vertical scale. Using the front in feed, move the grinding wheel so that it is almost in contact with the drill bit. And with the traverse feed, carefully align the center line of the drill bit along the right hand side of the grinding wheel. This will allow the 6mm radius on the wheel to create the raised center point. 
switch on the grinder, the lamp and the coolant pump. Position the coolant stream so that it makes contact with the drill bit and the grinding wheel. Turn the driving handle to rotate the drill bit. You will see that the cam moves the drill bit in and out from the stone, creating the raised tip, the required cutting angle and the heel relief all in one motion. Sharpen the drill by rotating the crank handle clockwise while slowly applying in feed. Do not overfeed to avoid burning the drill point. Allow the wheel to spark out each time before feeding. Please refer to the Ocean Rejuvenate instruction manual for more details. Using the infeed, move the stone out of the way to examine the drill tip. If the raised tip is too tall, it will wear out prematurely. To reduce the tip height, just move the stone slightly to the right to knock down the tip. Once you've achieved the correct drill point, loosen the chuck and remove the drill bit. Inspect the end of the drill to make sure that the coolant hole passageways are not blocked. If they are, clean them out with a needle file. Use a wetting stone to remove any sharp edges or burrs from the cutting edge. Your drill bit should look something like this. Here you can see the 170 degree raised split point geometry used for structural steel. You can also see the relief angle from the cutting face back to the heel of the drill bit. Due to the specially designed web on the ocean penetrator drill bits, there is no need to relieve the heel or thin the web. The structural drill point that we have just created pushes out these small discs as the drill punches through the steel. These discs take the burr with them and greatly reduce the need to grind the exit side of the hole. If your disc has a hole in its center, then the raised center of the drill bit is too pronounced. Moving the grinding wheel more to the right will knock down the height of the raised center point. Your drill spindle feed rate affects the size and the weight of the disc produced. The harder the feed rate, the thicker and heavier the disc will be. The drill feed rate on your ocean drilling machine can easily be adjusted to control this. The operator should always seek to achieve the optimum balance between drilling speed and the number of holes achieved per sharpening. The sensible practice is switch out your drill bits before they get really dull. Then the operator merely has to lightly dress the drill point. With the ocean penetrator drill bits, you will see a tremendous reduction in your consumable costs compared to drilling with mag drill annular cutters or disposable insert tools. We hope that this short video helps you achieve better drill sharpening and performance with your CNC machine. You'll be surprised at how much you can vary from our approach and yet still get amazing drilling performance. In other words, drill sharpening is not an exact science. Experiment with your own technique, take detailed notes of what you do, Note the drill grinder settings, the time it takes to drill a hole, and the number of holes you get per sharpening. Soon you will master your own sharpening technique.